Welcome to Phoenix Analysis and Design Technologies, where we make innovation work through simulation, product development, and rapid prototyping. As an ANSYS channel partner, we sell and support products from ANSYS Inc. in the Four Corner States and Nevada. In addition, we provide consulting and training in ANSYS tools worldwide. These tools provide simulation capabilities in fluid dynamics, structural mechanics, electromagnetics, as well as systems and multiphysics applications. Hello all, this is Manoj with PADT. In today's focus video blog, we're going to be showing you the automatic contact generation in ANSYS Mechanical. If you're doing a structural analysis on an assembly, you would bring in your assembly file and you would go into ANSYS Mechanical. In my case, you'll see that I have three parts. I have a screw, the holder, and a nut. Now, before doing the analysis, I would have to select the faces of these parts that are touching or are going to be touching during the course of the analysis, such that they don't interfere with each other. However, what's really cool about ANSYS Mechanical is that to a certain tolerance level, it will try to find and generate the contact regions for you. So, if you look under the trees in ANSYS Mechanical, under the Connections branch, you'll see that three regions have been generated automatically by ANSYS. The first one, for example, is the shaft of the screw along with the inner wall of the nut. The second region is the edge of the holder as well as the edge of the nut, such that they don't interfere in this direction. And finally, the third contact region where the faces of the shaft of the screw and the edge of the screw as well as the edge of the holder and shaft of the holder. So as you can see, it was really useful because it generated the contact regions for you and selected those appropriate faces. In large assemblies, it might be a hassle to identify and choose all those faces that are going to be in contact with each other. Now, once it's done, all you would have to do is come back in here and change it from the default of bonded, if it's so desired, to frictional, frictionless, or any other settings that you may want to change under the contact definition. One thing to be aware of is that although this is automatic, it is worthwhile and very important to double check the faces just to make sure nothing weird is happening. We hope this video was useful and please subscribe to PADT as we will be doing more videos on tips and examples in ANSYS. If you have any questions, feel free to call PADT Inc. Otherwise, see you next time.